SWAT standoff ends with the death of an 81 year old man in Las Cruces. Yesterday's face off lasted almost two hours and police say the man was suicidal. Only on ABC 7, a neighbor walks us through his efforts to save his friend's life. The man hasn't been identified, so we're only using his first name, Mike. Kid Berry has the story from our New Mexico mobile newsroom. I, I mean, I still can't believe I lost my friend. James Davidson told me he loved his neighbor Mike like family. He says every month they would have dinners together and every day he would stop by Mike's door just to check on him. On Monday, he did just that. Before I could even get up to his door, I heard him call out my name. When he called out my name, I went up to his door and he had his gun sitting on his table and he pointed to it and he told me he was ready to go. Davidson said his neighbor withdrew his life savings to change banks, but lost the cashier's check. He thought he lost his life savings, his truck, his everything. He thought he lost everything. And he just needed some reassurance. Davidson called the police to get help for Mike. Police say the 81-year-old man shot at officers as soon as they arrived. Negotiators took over. In the end, the man went outside. Police say there was more gunfire and he was killed. There are many, many forms of, uh, many attempts to commun communicate with this individual, um, uh, either uh, by yelling, by using a radio, uh, uh, a loudspeaker. Um, I believe we had tried to make telephonic contact with him also, uh, but all of those were to no avail. To give you a visual perspective, this is a city-owned community center, and if we walk just north over the wall, this was the building that was the target of the tense SWAT situation, and only on ABC 7 and 6 hear a fearful 911 call before the incident unfolded. Reporting from Las Cruces with our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom, Kate Beery, ABC 7.